Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about double Maddox raw test. This test is used to measure the torsional deviations or the hidden torsional deviations in the eye. Right. So in this test we are going to discuss that how can we evaluate the is either the patient has the uh, excyclophoria or either the patient has the encyclophoria. So let's move on and let's see how we are going to do this. So now double Maddox rod test is performed by placing the two Maddox rod right in front of both the eyes. So what you have to do you have to place two Maddox rod each in one eye right. So I am using over here the red in front of the right eye and white in front of the left eye. Why am I choosing different colors? You can use the same colors as well but I am using two different colors and I want you to choose two different colors so that patient can understand the difference between the two lines and you can understand that which line is concerned with which eye right. So if you are using the red filter that will give us the red line over here you can see the red filter will give us the red streak and white filter uh, sorry white Maddox rod will give us the white streak. So patient will see two lines like these two streaks will be observed by the patient and you can see I have placed my dog rod vertically so the streaks observed by the patient will be horizontal this way we can evaluate the encyclophoria and excyclophoria in the patient eye now encyclo and excyclo means that 12 o'clock cornea is rotated inward it means that patient is having encyclophoria and when the 12 o'clock cornea is moved outward it means that it's excyclophoria so now I have told you that two streaks will be observed by the patient red streak will tell us that it is concerned with the right eye because the red Maddox rod is placed in front of the right eye and white uh, streak will tell us that it is the white eye white Maddox rod and we have placed a white Maddox rod in front of the left eye so when patient does not have any torsional foria what will happen that both these streaks will be parallel to each other patient will say that these streaks are totally parallel or are equal and they can he can also say that they are equally aligned right so what does this mean that when both the streaks are aligned or are parallel to each other there is no torsional foria present in the patient's eye so this means that patient is orthophoric and there is no encyclo or excyclophoria in the eye of the patient so now what will be the second case when if the patient says that both the lines are not parallel you have to ask patient ke kya dono line आपको एक दूसरे के बराबर नजर आ रही हैं ऊपर नीचे अलाइन हैं बिल्कुल सीधी नजर आ रही हैं अगर पेशेंट कहता है कि हाँ इट मींस दैट देर इज नो टोर्शनल डेविएशन अगर पेशेंट कहता है कि मुझे कोई भी एक लाइन वो आपको बताता है कि मुझे वाइट लाइन सपोज ही सेज ओवर हियर इन दिस केस इज दैट पेशेंट कैन से कि मुझे वाइट लाइन टेढ़ी नजर आ रही है सो यू हैव टू नो दिस थिंग दैट यू हैव प्लेस्ड वाइट में डॉक्स रॉड इन फ्रंट ऑफ द लेफ्ट आई सो देयर मे बी एनी टॉर्शनल डेविएशन इन द लेफ्ट आई यू हैव टू रिमेंबर वन थिंग यू हैव प्लेस द ट्रायल यू हैव प्लेस द मे डॉक्स रॉड इन द ट्रायल फ्रेम सो जस्ट रिमेंबर कि उस ट्रायल फ्रेम के ऊपर एक्सेस मार्क होंगे यू हैव टू रोटेट दैट वाइट जो भी लाइन पेशेंट बोले कि मुझे ये कलर की लाइन टेढ़ी नजर आ रही है सो यू हैव टू रोटेट द सेम मिडॉक्स रॉड एंड आस्क द पेशेंट कि जब आपको ये लाइन बराबर एक दूसरे के दिख जाए जब वो लाइन सीधी हो जाए यू जस्ट नीड टू टेल मी सो नाउ वट विल हैपन अगर तो आप रोटेट इन साइड करें टूवर्ड्स द नोज रोटेट करें इफ़ यू आर रोटेटिंग द मेडॉक्स रोड टूवर्ड द नोज एंड द लाइन्स गेट पैरल दिस मीन्स दैट पेशेंट वॉज हैविंग द इन साइक्लोडक्शन इट मीन्स दैट द ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक कॉर्निया इज रोटेटेड इन साइड और टूवर्ड द नोज सो इट मीन्स दैट देर इज सम डिग्रीज ऑफ इन साइक्लोफोरिया इन द पेशेंट्स आई राइट सो नाउ ओवर हेयर इफ यू सी that you want to make the lines parallel and you need to rotate the Maddox rod 
towards the temporal region or away from the nose so this will indicate that patient has some degree of the excyclophoria in his eye so remember this thing that if you rotate the dog straw towards the nose to make the lines parallel this will indicate patient has any degree of encyclophoria while if you rotate the dog straw outside or toward the temporal region so this will tell you that the eye is having the excyclophoria and we are talking about the that eye in which you are rotating the medox rod so over here in this case you can see that these lines were white line was not parallel white line was a bit tilted so we have rotated the medox rod temporally and patient will now start saying that yes now the lines are getting parallel or are that line is moving so this will indicate that yeah patient is having some degree of the excyclophoria so now you have rotated started rotating temporally and at 70 degrees from 90 degree medox rod is rotated toward the 70 degree on the trial frame the axes are marked so on rotating medox rod at 70 degree both lines are now parallel so what you have to do you have to subtract the degrees like you know the medox rod was actually at 90 degree but when you have but the lines were not parallel first step secondly when you have rotated my dog straw to the 70 degree what happened that both the lines get paralleled so now you have to subtract 90 degree from the 70 degree we got 20 degrees so this means that uh, at 20 degree patients both line get parallel and patient is having left eye excyclophoria of the degrees which is 20 degree so this will indicate that patient is 20 degree excycro excyclophoric and which i the eye in which you have rotated the medox rod so this is a video on the topic double medox rod test in case of any problem comment in comment section thank you so much